The world of clean technology has just taken a massive leap forward, and the news is spreading like wildfire. After years of anticipation, testing, and viral speculation, Maxwell Chikambutso has officially begun global shipping of his revolutionary device. The For many, it felt like a myth that would never materialize, but today, we're witnessing history in motion. The first batch of MSED units has landed in the United States, marking a major milestone for Chikambutso's vision of decentralized, self-sustaining energy. And in this documentary, we explore the excitement, the reactions, and the first hands-on experience of an American user who has already begun testing it. It's a story that bridges continents, innovation, and the quest for free power. For those unfamiliar, the MCD, or Magnetic Sustainable Energy Device, is the latest invention from Maxwell Chikambutso, the Zimbabwean inventor known for his self-powered vehicles and RF energy systems. Unlike traditional generators, the MCE doesn't need fuel, sunlight, or charging from an external grid. It produces continuous electrical power by harnessing electromagnetic resonance, a technology Chikambutso claims can sustain itself indefinitely once activated. Skeptics have long questioned its feasibility, but believers have stood by Maxwell's work, calling it the dawn of a new energy era. Now, the device is no longer just an online rumor or a prototype seen in demonstrations. It's being shipped, delivered, and used, and the first U.S. recipient has just gone public with their experience. Our story begins in Texas, where a tech enthusiast named Daniel Lewis received his MSED earlier this month. Daniel had followed Chikambutso's work since 2019, ever since the videos of his self-powered car first surfaced on YouTube. He was among the thousands who pre-registered for updates, waiting patiently through years of silence, hoping one day this technology would be real. Then, in October 2025, an email arrived in his inbox. The subject line read, Your MSED unit is ready for dispatch. It was signed by Maxwell Industries Global Distribution, Daniel thought it was spam at first, but once he verified the domain, he realized this was the moment he had been waiting for. He placed the order immediately, even though it cost more than his car. Two weeks later, a sleek black box arrived at his doorstep, bearing the emblem of Seth Technologies and the letters E 2025. Inside was a compact metallic cube, about the size of a home speaker, wrapped in protective foam and accompanied by a detailed manual. The design was minimalist, futuristic, no moving parts, no vents, just a smooth matte surface with a power port and an LED indicator. The manual claimed that once switched on, it would begin generating up to 5 kilowatts of clean power continuously. No noise. No emissions. No maintenance. Daniel documented the unboxing on his channel, and within hours, the video had gained hundreds of thousands of views. He connected the MSED to his off-grid setup, powering his home lights, refrigerator, and even his electric bike charger. The readings were stable. The power was real. For 48 hours straight, Daniel's devices ran without interruption. He unplugged the MSED completely to ensure it wasn't secretly charging from any source, and yet, it continued delivering power. By the third day, his disbelief turned into excitement. By the fifth, it became a viral sensation. People began flooding his comments, asking if it was real, if it was fake, if it was another staged stunt. But Daniel kept uploading daily updates, live, unedited, time-stamped, and every day, the MCED kept running. Across the internet, news outlets began to take notice. Tech blogs from Nairobi to New York started covering it, cautiously but curiously. This could be the biggest disruption to global energy since the invention of the battery, one journalist wrote. Meanwhile, in Zimbabwe, Maxwell Chikambutso appeared in a rare interview, smiling humbly as he confirmed that international deliveries had officially begun. He said the first shipment went to select early testers in the US, South Africa, and Canada as part of phase one of his rollout plan. He added that over 10,000 pre-orders were lined up globally, with priority given to schools, hospitals, and remote communities without stable electricity. What makes this story so powerful is not just the technology, it's the hope it represents. 
Imagine a world where every home, every village, and every electric car runs without dependence on fossil fuels or the grid. That's the vision Shikambutso has pursued for over a decade, often facing ridicule and suppression from established energy players. But now, with tangible evidence surfacing, that vision feels closer than ever. Daniel's home became a test lab, and he wasn't the only one experimenting. Other early users began sharing photos and clips from around the world. A school in Ghana, a workshop in Brazil, a mobile clinic in Kenya. Each clip showed the same black cube, quietly powering entire systems without any external source. As more testimonials surfaced, the conversation shifted from doubt to possibility. Could this really be the future? Scientists and engineers started weighing in, debating the underlying physics of the device. Some argued it was impossible according to known electromagnetic principles. Others speculated that Chikambutso might have discovered a new resonance phenomenon, something beyond conventional textbooks. The device reportedly uses tuned magnetic fields to create sustained electrical oscillation, similar to Tesla's early experiments with wireless power. But unlike Tesla's coils, which required huge infrastructure, the MCD fits on a tabletop. That compact scale is what shocks most observers. How could something so small deliver continuous energy indefinitely? Daniel, in his follow-up video, explained that he ran his entire household for seven days straight without any fluctuation. He even invited a local news crew to verify the performance, and the footage showed consistent readings. By the end of the week, the MCD story had exploded on social media. TikTok clips hit millions of views, YouTube tech channels began dissecting it, and hashtags like hashtag Maxwell Energy and hashtag MCD Revolution trended globally. Some users started calling it the new light of Africa, a poetic nod to Maxwell's homeland and his dream of uplifting the continent through technology. What makes Maxwell's story even more compelling is the personal journey behind it. Born and raised in Harare, Zimbabwe, he was a self-taught inventor who dropped out of school and built his first radio transmitter at just 14. He later developed prototypes of self-powered generators, drones, and electric cars long before the world took him seriously. He often claimed that his inventions were not about fame or fortune but about freeing humanity from the burden of costly energy systems. His supporters saw him as a visionary ahead of his time, his critics dismissed him as a dreamer. But with the MSED now in global circulation, the conversation has changed dramatically. Daniel's review was soon followed by independent tech reviewers. One from California performed a 10-day endurance test using calibrated instruments. His verdict was shocking, consistent power output, zero emissions, zero external input. He called it the most efficient piece of hardware I've ever tested. Energy analysts started to crunch the numbers, speculating how a device like this could transform the $10 trillion global energy market. If scaled up, it could power entire towns, eliminate electricity bills, and drastically cut carbon emissions worldwide. The environmental implications alone are staggering. Meanwhile, demand surged beyond expectations. Within days of the US unboxing going viral, pre-order requests skyrocketed. Maxwell Industries announced they would open new assembly plants in South Africa and Malaysia to meet global demand. According to sources close to the company, they're already in talks with several African governments to integrate MSED units into rural electrification programs. For many developing nations, this represents more than just innovation, it's liberation. The ability to generate power anywhere, anytime, without relying on imported fuel, could redefine national economies. In interviews, Chikambutso emphasized that the MCED was not meant to replace renewable energy but to complement it. He described it as a personal power plant, designed for homes, small businesses, and vehicles. Its modular design allows users to stack multiple units for higher power needs. Imagine a future where every house has one, silent, compact, endlessly running. That's what the early adopters are now testing, and their stories are reshaping how we think about energy. Daniel's footage of his kids watching TV powered by the MSED went viral because it represented something simple yet profound, energy independence. For generations, we've been tied to the grid, paying monthly for something nature provides freely. And now, 
A small cube from Africa might be the key to unlocking that freedom. In the following weeks, news broke that several universities were reaching out to Maxwell's team for research collaborations. They wanted to study the physics behind the device and validate its long-term stability under lab conditions. Instead of pushing them away, Chikambutso welcomed the idea, saying, science should unite us, not divide us. That statement resonated globally. Tech influencers called it the most humble response in modern innovation. As reviews continued, journalists flew to Harare to visit the Ceph Technologies facility. They were surprised to find a busy workshop filled with engineers assembling MSED units for shipment. No secret labs, no mystery, just real production lines. The transparency added credibility to what many once dismissed as pseudoscience. Footage from inside the facility showed dozens of units being tested before packaging, each going through a 48-hour runtime verification. The factory hum was electric, not from machines, but from excitement. For the first time, Africa wasn't just importing technology, it was exporting the future. And the first U.S. experience marked the official beginning of that global chapter. Daniel's continued testing inspired local media to feature him on television. He described how his neighborhood initially mocked him for buying a magic box, but soon, people were coming to charge their phones at his house. Within weeks, his home became the first self-powered residence in his entire county. Then came the ripple effect. Orders from small businesses, tech startups, even RV enthusiasts who wanted off-grid power. The MSED was no longer just a concept, it had become a movement. Social media was flooded with hashtags like hashtag power by Maxwell and hashtag free energy now. For the first time, the words made in Africa symbolized technological leadership on a global scale. The economic implications were enormous. Experts predicted that if mass production continues, it could challenge major utility monopolies. Some even speculated that energy giants might try to suppress or acquire the technology. But Chikambutso remained unfazed. In an interview, he said, the world deserves this. Whether they fight it or not, the truth will keep shining. His calm, confident tone reflected a man who has faced every obstacle imaginable and still kept building. Meanwhile, Daniel's data logs were being reviewed by independent labs. Preliminary reports confirmed consistent voltage stability and no detectable external input. That was the turning point. What started as one man's unboxing video became undeniable proof that something extraordinary was happening. Mainstream networks like CNN and BBC began covering the phenomenon cautiously, labeling it the African device challenging the laws of energy. Debate panels emerged, bringing together physicists, entrepreneurs, and environmentalists to discuss what this could mean for the planet. In one interview, a renewable energy researcher said, if this technology holds up, it's not just an African success story, it's a human one. That sentiment captured the global mood. For once, the world wasn't divided by politics or borders, it was united by curiosity and hope. Every great invention starts with disbelief, and every revolution begins quietly. Themseds global debut might seem small now, but history may look back on this moment as the true beginning of the post-grid era. From a small workshop in Hurry to Homes in Texas, the journey of Maxwell's invention embodies resilience, creativity, and faith. As shipments continue worldwide, each new user adds another data point, another story, another spark of change. The energy revolution has officially begun, not from Silicon Valley or Shanghai, but from the heart of Africa. And as Daniel Lewis switches on his lights every night, powered by a silent cube on his desk, he knows he's not just using electricity, he's witnessing history. The MSED is more than a product, it's a promise. A promise that clean, limitless power is not a dream of tomorrow, but a reality of today. And that promise is now traveling across oceans, one shipment at a time. From Texas to Tokyo, from Harare to Houston, the era of Maxwell Chikambutso's energy revolution is here. The question is no longer if it works, but how far it will go. Because as the first US user has shown, the light that started in Africa is now illuminating the world. And this is just the beginning.